guys, welcome to this episode of Tech Tuesday. We will now be covering some important tech related news that we've collected over the last week. Like before, we'll be covering all of this within 100 seconds. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, let's get started. Firstly, Waymo, the self-driving vehicle company, is offering a limited time service of trips for only a few hundred users in Phoenix, Arizona. These rides are fully automated rides without any attendees in them. Similar tests are also being performed on self-driving trucks in Michigan, Arizona and Georgia. Next, close to 1.3 million debit cards and credit cards data of Indian banking customers have been found on the dark web. This can fetch up to $130 million for cyber criminals. The card details were found in Joker's stash, which is a card shop frequented by major hackers to sell credit or debit card dumps. These details are being sold for $100 each. This has been dubbed as one of the biggest card dumps in recent years. Next, according to Twitter's chief executive, the social media platform would ban all political advertising next month. This ban, which would take effect on November 22nd, is not expected to affect Twitter's business greatly. However, Twitter's share fell 1.9% in after-hours trading after the announcement. Next, Google has announced that it would stop supporting Flash content in its search. This comes as a follow-up to Adobe announcing that it would stop supporting Flash technology. Google is expected to remove Flash entirely from the Chrome web browser by the end of 2020. Next, private aircraft company Cirrus has announced that it would be using a technology called Autoland which would allow occupants to initiate automatic emergency landing procedures with the press of a button. This technology works thanks to an integrated system of sensors, GPS and radar. And finally, a new vulnerability discovered on Android smartphones that use Android 8.0 or higher can allow hackers to use NFC or Android Beam to install malware. Although this bug was patched in the October update for Android OS, it can still be a threat for people who haven't updated their software recently. And there you go, tech news in 100 seconds. For more details regarding what we've covered, each of these news articles is linked in the description. Did we miss anything important? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, do like and share it. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode of Tech Tuesday. This is your host Raul signing off. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Done.